Look here at Kiev, and uh, we have an update to a very sad story here in the Fox News family here, as uh, we are learning this morning that Pierre Zek Zuski, described as a veteran Fox News cameraman, passed away after being injured alongside Fox News journalist Benjamin Hall uh, just yesterday. It is with great sadness and a heavy heart that we share the news this morning regarding our beloved cameraman, Pierre. Pierre was killed in Horenka, just outside of Kiev. Fox News CEO Suzanne Scott said, Pierre was a war zone photographer who covered nearly every international story for Fox News from Iraq to Afghanistan to Syria during his long tenure with us. She added in an update posted to foxnews.com, his passion and talent as a journalist were unmatched. The war has killed hundreds of civilians and injured thousands while the number of military casualties is not yet known. Just on Sunday, an American journalist and former New York Times contributor, Brent Renaud, was also uh, killed in Kyiv, uh, just right outside of Kyiv, a suburban town that has uh, seen uh, intense fighting in the recent days there. Pierre and Hall were struck by incoming fire just outside of Kyiv yesterday, but sp sp just additional details about the attack still not known at this time. John Roberts tweeted out saying, I worked with Pierre many times around the world. He was an absolute treasure, sending our most heartfelt prayers to Pierre's wife and family. Pierre was a constant in all of our international coverage. I, like countless others, always felt an extra sense of reassurance when arriving on the scene and seeing him with the camera in hand. That's from Fox News President and Executive Editor Jay Wallace saying today, the legacy of his positive spirit, boundless energy, and eye for the story will carry on. Suzanne Scott also said, we extend our deepest condolences to Pierre's wife, Michelle, and family. Please keep them all in your prayers and please continue to pray for Benjamin Hall who remains hospitalized in Ukraine. A very, very sad update to that story that we first brought you yesterday and gave you that additional update today. We are thinking of Pierre so much during this very difficult time for his family and friends.